At the same time, advocacy group Youth Capital is disappointed jobs for youth was not prioritized in the midterm budget. It says that 9 million unemployed people, uh, young people, should have been at the core of the finance minister's speech, but it says there were some glimmers of hope. We are a bit disappointed in the lack of mention around youth unemployment specifically. There were about four mentions of, of unemployment broadly. Um, but, you know, the crisis of unemployment is really um, falls onto young people. And um, you know, the minister referenced a lot around the idea of economic growth. And there can be no economic growth if we aren't getting a salary or money into the pockets of, of young people who make up, you know, a large percentage of the population. So I think there were some encouraging, um, you know, hints at, at things that government's doing, working with um, SMEs and reducing red tape for, for small businesses to operate, because we really believe that small businesses are the key to unlocking um, employment opportunities in the formal economy. You know, big corporates um, are saturated and they can only absorb so many young people. Uh, but then in addition, the minister made reference to the, the 74 billion that's been put aside for public works opportunities. Um, and we know that we had the biggest public works opportunity in the history of this country um, at the beginning of this year uh, with the Basic Education Employment Initiative. And at Youth Capital, we're saying if we're going to invest billions into public works opportunities, then we need to make sure that they really work as a stepping stone for young people into a next opportunity. As you say, we need to create these opportunities for young people and a couple of months of employment um, doesn't really help a young person unless we ensure that they get mentorship and training and clear guidance on a next step when those short-term government opportunities end. President Cyril Ramaphosa is in the